Hey, I uh, want to have a little uh, update video about the uh, Nikon D500, which, you know, all you people were, not all of you people, a lot of people were like, oh, this is the first guy reviewing the Nikon D500 on YouTube, and I made all these videos, and and then, uh, you're like, oh, what are you praising that DX crop sensor camera so much for? It's only 20 megapixels, it's only a DX camera. And then uh, DP review came out, and uh, not that it matters what they say. You know, I knew what it was, regardless of what the hell anybody else said. And they gave it uh, the uh, highest review of any camera they've ever tested. Any of them. Sony, full frame, not just crop. Full frame, crop, Sony, Nikon, Canon, Fuji, yada, 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 yada. Um, but there is a serious issue with the D500, especially if you own another Nikon camera. And <laughs> that is, if you, if, you, if you mess with this camera too much, and, uh, you know, uh, it's just, uh, well, and you go to grab your other camera, uh, and you pick up your Nikon D810, and D810 is still king of portraiture and landscape, um, or your D750, or any other Nikon camera you got, you know, the D3 is a beast. You know, I've got a few Nikon D3s, and those are, that's the toughest camera ever made, ever, by anybody. Those cameras of mine are going in nowhere, nor is my Nikon D700. But when you pick them up, and, uh, you know, you mess with this for a while, you know, let me stick it in uh, manual mode, and then you pick up your other Nikon cameras. It just... You look at your other Nikon cameras and go, loser. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe the Nikon D500. I know for a fact that anybody, and I know it's an expensive camera, and uh, anybody that's, uh, that I've seen uh, chirping about, ah, oh, my D7200 is just as good. I never recommend the D7200 to anybody at any time. Anybody that's actually chirped about that and say, well, the image quality is kind of the same output. It's like, no, you don't understand. That's kind of like saying the max speed of a Rolls Royce is the same max speed of uh, your Toyota RAV4. It's like, yeah, they both got the same maximum speed, but you're comparing a Rolls Royce to a friggin' Toyota. It's, you know, it's just, it's not comparable. It's like, well, you know, they're kind of the same output. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's not think about it. Let's talk about the style, the class, the speed, the autofocus acquisition. An Nikon D500, I've always thought of the perfect way, or at least been trying to think of the perfect way to describe the Nikon D500. And uh, I've done more testing with this camera than most owners of the D500. I was the first schmuck when they released it a um, month, and, you know, five, six weeks ago, whatever it was, to get my hands on one, and I just went, bam, right into it testing. Got two of them now. I finally come up with a perfect metaphor, a perfect description of owning an Icon D500. And it is like where it is like adjusting your junk while wearing silk underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> it's adjusting your junk while wearing silk underwear. <laughs> now you know what I'm talking about. You see, when you use colorful metaphors like that, you bring things alive. Bam! And then people know what you're talking about. Uh, nobody is uh, giving me a nickel, and Nikon doesn't give a damn about me, for sure. Because I've heaped plenty of flack upon them when they've, uh, you know, uh, you know, when they've uh, screwed the pooch on several things. Um, so, anyway, the D500 is, uh, let's see, let it talk for itself. Yeah, it, it's phenomenal. Um, autofocus acquisition is incredible. Using the Nikon uh, 200mm to 500 and getting handheld shots, as I've proven with links, handheld shots at 160th of a second. Handheld, standing up. 160th of a second at 500 millimeters. And the autofocus, I mean, that is just, that's like, <sighs> like, you know, a man. That's, that's, that's freaking awesome. So anyway, that is the serious issue with the Nikon D500. If you know another Nikon camera, and you're buying this as your primary and have your old one as a backup, you'll look at your other Nikons like this. A loser! Because that's what they will feel like to you after you uh, use this camera. A few other people have actually made that very similar comments. They're like, you know, if you pick this up and play with it, you won't even think about buying another Nikon. You, you just won't. 
um, is not best for landscape. It doesn't emanate. It does not say it won't do awesome landscape shots. It's that you know the nature of landscapes. You want a full frame sensor with no AA filter. A landscape camera decries awesome wide glass and like a Nikon D810. So I mean it's just a fact. There's no camera that is perfect at everything. But other than uh, portraiture, which this is perfectly fine for portraiture as well, other than portraiture landscape as ideals, which the D810 is king of, the D500 is everything else. So that's it. This is why the Nikon D500 sucks, is because it will make the rest of your cameras look like losers. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you for my silk underwear metaphor there. <laughs>